Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my God, you guys, for today's video, I'm like low key, really, really excited because this is going to be a little bit of a throwback type of makeup challenge. I feel like right now in pop culture, we're in like a period of throwbacks for some reason. The Jonas Brothers literally just came out from nowhere with an iconic revival of their brand new song. Original reality TV star, Kimora Lee Simmons just announced that she's reviving Baby Fat. So cool. And the makeup community is, well, still doing nothing. Earlier on Twitter today, I asked you guys what type of videos you wanted to see me film, and a bunch of people actually suggested the full face using only liquid lipsticks challenge. Now, as soon as I read that at first, I was like, eh, been there, done that, but then I actually thought about it and realized, no, in fact, I haven't been there, nor did I do that. The challenge was actually made popular in 2016 by big beauty gurus and now my close friends, Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star, but at that time, I wasn't even doing YouTube seriously, so I never got to take part in the full face using only liquid lipsticks challenge. Now, you guys know I live for a good makeup challenge. I love competition and just unleashing my inner artist, and this seems like the perfect way to do so. So for today's video, I thought it'd be so much fun to throw back a little bit, revive the challenge in honor of all these other revivals happening and pop culture. Culture. Ditch the rest of my makeup kit and grab my full bin of liquid, ah! of liquid lipsticks and see what look I could create on my face. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so the first step of my makeup routine today is going to be to prime. Now, I am gonna cheat on this, full disclaimer. Liquid lipstick obviously do usually dry down matte. That is the whole point and the whole invention of liquid lipsticks. So I wanna make sure that my skin is still at least prepped and moisturized so my face doesn't like literally dry out and crack by the end of this because that would be neither fun nor fresh. So I'm gonna grab the new Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is very, very hydrating. So I'm praying that this keeps my skin somewhat um, moist under everything that's about to go on. And then I'm also just gonna grab a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil as well. I'm probably gonna use a decent amount of this to mix in with the lipsticks today so they don't like literally start cracking, but hopefully, once again, this will create like a little bit more of a barrier and allow for some easier blending. All right, you guys, so moving on to our first step is of course going to be foundation. Now, I'm not even gonna lie, when it comes to everything else in this look today, I am low key kind of confident. I think we can do this. I'm not so confident about foundation, however, because um, considering I can't even match my color when I have the actual product, I don't really know how picking a skin tone when it comes to lips is going to work. To make matters even worse, when I finished decorating my beauty room a few weeks ago, I went through and I purged my entire makeup collection, most of which consisted of over a thousand liquid lipsticks. So my collection is rather small right now. I clearly did not plan accordingly. I think the one shade that looks like it could be a decent color for me is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Milkshake. It is like a nude color, but it's like not completely pink. So like, I guess we're gonna see how this looks. It's still pink. It's very pink. So here's Anastasia Milkshake in there, but I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Queen Bee. This is bright yellow, and I'm gonna mix just a little bit of this into here to like make it a little bit more neutral because milkshake is like very, very pink. And I know everybody's convinced that I'm matching my foundation wrong because my undertones are pink. I think I know my own body. Thank you very much for your concern though. So hopefully this will like neutralize it at least like a little bit. Not awful to be honest. I mean, that's literally my only option. So let's just go ahead and apply. Oh my God, kind of decent. I am so good at this. I'm just gonna blend it in using this foundation brush all over my face. I'm definitely trying to work very, very fast too because I know I don't have a very long time before everything starts to dry down. So let me blend this in quickly. Oh no, I don't have enough. I need more. <laughs> I need to mix more. Oh no, this is not off to a good start. I was so confident in this. Oh God, this is very peachy. We're just gonna blend it really, really far down so it doesn't look crazy. Not skin tone, but could be worse could be worse. I now am going to grab the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Drug Lord and use this to highlight. Gonna mix a little bit more of it on this palette and then a tiny bit more of the lips. Maybe like this brush. Let's see. Oh God. You know what, we're just gonna try. We're just gonna blend it in. I'm just using stippling motions to like, oh gosh. Oh my God, Flashback Mary's gonna come back. Oh no, it's already drying. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, get some on the corner of the nose to highlight and snatch everything up. Blending it out under the eye. Okay, so I think we're actually pretty good on this step. Now comes contouring, which is what I'm not 
as excited about. So for my contour, I'm actually gonna mix together two shades. Predominantly, I wanna use the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malibu because it's like a brownie nude color. And then I also wanna grab a tiny little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashen, just because this is like a kind of burnt orange and this will kind of warm everything up a little bit and make it look a little bit less gray. Okay, so like this type of color. Oh God, this is gonna be really dark. We're just gonna have to blend it out, okay. Okay, any excess for the nose? Oh God, please blend, please Lord. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh no. I'm literally blending so hard, I know I'm not. I'm scared. Remember how in like the beginning of the YouTube days, all the beauty gurus literally used to be like, oh my God, blend your eyeshadow until your hand falls off. <laughs> but like that's literally what I have to do right now. Holy crap. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I guess we're just gonna have a really really snatched jaw for today. <laughs> I really don't think my base is gonna get any better than this, so let's just go ahead and move right on to the eyebrows. For brows, I definitely want a cool tone brown. I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sepia and mix that with the Over Liquid Lipstick in the shade The Bronx, which is black, so we can get like a dark brown moment. Just using my Anastasia number 12 brush, and I guess just using the excess to blend it out. Like that's a brow. Not a good one, but it's a brow. Like she's definitely there. Okay, let's do the other one. Those have literally gotta be the most uneven brows I've ever- No! Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my God. We're not gonna panic, we're just gonna make a concealer and clean it up. Once again, mixing our skin tone shades together with some white to make a lighter color. Just gonna use this to clean up the brows. Then I'm just gonna use any excess and pat it in to kind of prepare myself for an eyeshadow base. Okay, that looks a little bit better actually. Okay, not awful. So that was like an emotional roller coaster to say the least. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, sweetie, I'm so sorry that I cheated on you. I promise I'll be back in the next video. That being said, I don't think they look that bad. They're bad, but like could be worse for sure. There was still 2016 James, which comes like right below that on the list. So this is like passable. We're gonna move on to the next step, which is going to be the eyeshadow. Now, if you guys know me, you would know that by far eyeshadow is my favorite process of the makeup routine. It is so much fun to create beautiful and colorful looks. In fact, I just came out with my iconic James Charles X Morphe palette that is literally a rainbow in every color ever in the entire world. But for today's video, we are closing the palette. That's okay, it is sister soda anyway. And of course, our only options are going to be liquid lipsticks. Now, we do have a lot of colorful options to work with and that's good because for this video I do want to challenge myself so I picked out this look by my good friend by Brickell it is like this beautiful blue pink purple orange sunset moment and it is really really colorful and I think I want to try to recreate this today using only liquid lipsticks but this could be an epic failure but regardless it's a challenge and I at least want to challenge myself and try so let's just jump right in so in order to achieve this look today I do want to apply the colors in the same order that I would normally do them when it comes to the eyeshadow just to like keep it together in my brain so I think first I'm gonna grab Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade I am royalty which is a purple color and I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand and grabbing an M456 brush, I'm just going to dip this in there and I'm gonna tap off like any excess. Place this here and lay down the color and bring a little bit of it right into my crease because we're going to layer it in later. And then using any excess that's on the brush to blend out the edge. And I'm going very, very lightly. Yo, why does that look good? <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit more because I definitely want to deepen it up. Putting this purple in there. And then just a tiny little bit of black in the outer third. Okay, I'm liking this. Next, I'm gonna grab a bright pink. This is the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in Say No More. And I'm gonna use this and put it right next door to the purple as like a little transition color. Once again, just applying this very, very lightly because I don't want the colors to get muddy or to be too intense. I do definitely need to keep them blended. I feel like because of the way that the liquid lipsticks don't fully dry down, this is gonna end up being like a more pastel version of this look, but honestly, I am okay with that if it looks good. Gonna grab a little bit of Jeffree Star Cherry Wet and use that to blend together the pink and purple. The purple shade is still not giving me as dark as what I want. Ooh, okay, let me actually grab Anastasia Violet Liquid Lipstick and see if this does anything for me. Oh, this could be good. Yes, there we go. Oh, yes. Thank you, Miss Anastasia, for coming through. Loving this so far. I now wanna do that little pop in the inner corner, so I'm gonna grab a tiny little bit of Queen Bee first and put it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna place that right in the inner corner. That worked well, okay. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of Flamethrower, also from Jeffree, and use that to blend in the orange, just like Raquel has. Just pulling in a little bit of orange right into there. Pulling it underneath the eye as well. 
tea. Oh my God, this is working. So for the lid, obviously Brickell has like a beautiful blue glitter pigment on there. We do not have the options today, but we are gonna make do with what we have and try our absolute best. So I'm gonna mix together the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Bondi Beach and Jeffree Star Breakfast at Tiffany's to try to get like a medium tone blue-ish color. And we're gonna use that to cut the crease. That is literally the perfect color. Oh my gosh, okay, great. Now for this outside edge, I'm just gonna grab the same brush that I had the dark purple on from before and tap over that edge to make sure it's nice and blended out because we don't want a harsh line for that cut crease. <laughs> Why does this look good? Oh my gosh, okay. And then just having a tiny more black into that outer V area. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is pretty much one eye of this look already done and completed using only liquid lipsticks. Not gonna lie, I'm really, really proud of myself right now. I do have a few other things that I wanna add to this, but I do wanna wait for this to completely dry down first. So I'm gonna go off camera quickly, do the other eye, and then I'll come right back for the finishing touches. All right, you guys, we are back and both eyes are all complete. I finished the other one off camera using liquid lipsticks, I promise, and then popped on a quick Lily Lash in the style, so extra at Miami, just to pull the whole look together. Obviously, these lashes are not made out of liquid lipstick, but a good look always needs a good lash to go along with it. And of course, you guys can use Co James for 50% off your purchase. Regardless, let's move on to the next step, which is, of course, going to be highlighter. Now, highlighter is like the one step that I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it, mostly because um, I threw out all of my metallic liquid lipsticks since I literally never used Use them of course now I need to use them but I do have a lot of lip glosses so I think I'm gonna grab the Kylie liquid lip gloss in the shade always shining and try to use this as like a highlighter I'm gonna try to like if I put this like here right and like tap it in not my best idea but definitely not my worst I'll say that okay honestly like that's kind of good a little bit on the chin for some natural glow Add it to my brow bone using an M124 okay wow I'm gonna grab a little bit more gloss and put this on my nose, right on the tip, and then, oh, that was not a good idea. For the inner corners, I'm gonna grab the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade over the top. Gonna pop a little bit of this in there, just because I think it'll highlight the orange pretty nicely. Oh yeah, okay. Last but certainly not least, we get to move on to the easiest step of this entire video, the lips. So you guys know I normally start my lips off by overlining them quite a bit using a darker lip liner before going into the nude later on, but that's with a liner pencil and I can't use that for today. So I'm gonna grab the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Trouble and do my lips, but like really overline them first. Then I'm just gonna go over top of it with my usual favorite nude, Ofra in the shade Sao Paulo. And then just gonna pop on a tiny little bit more of that Dose of Colors gloss just for a little pop. All right, you guys, in the absolute final step of this look today, I've been saving it for last to make sure that it didn't increase and mess up the entire look. I'm gonna grab the Kylie Liquid Lip Gloss in the shade Snow Sparkle. It is this beautiful holographic blue and I'm gonna place a little bit of this right on the center of my eyelids. <laughs> I think that is this full face using only liquid lipsticks challenge officially all complete. You guys, I am so, so, so happy with how this look turned out. Oh my God, the foundation and the base could be a whole lot better, but as for the eyes, I am obsessed with this look and it is so crazy to think that I somehow created this using literally only liquid lipsticks. Even though this challenge was popular several years ago and my friends pretty much already all killed it, it was so much fun to revive the challenge and bring it back and try it out on myself for the first time ever today. I am super proud of how the finished look turned out this was a major challenge getting here, but that's what made it so much fun. And I feel like it really does go to show and prove that when you're an artist, you can truly make anything work with the right tips and techniques and a whole lot of patience and practice. If you guys enjoyed this video today and you like the look that I created, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your sister support and love. It truly means so, so, so much to me. And also leave me a comment down below. Are there any other old makeup challenges that you'd love to see me revive and bring back? You guys know I live for a good challenge and a competition. I'm always looking for new video ideas. So tweet me, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you have not already, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join this sisterhood. We are 15 
15 million sister strong. Oh my God, you guys. I am so grateful for all of your guys' love and support every single day. I cannot even believe this. And I will say that I'm working on a few special things behind the scenes to celebrate all of us together, but I can't say anything yet. Speaking of, if you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles, the next S after Charles. This video's sister shout goes to sister Mads. Thank you so much love for always following and supporting. You know I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links and go live on Twitter. And also turn on my YouTube post notifications by clicking the bell icon. All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.